Today, we will be talking about how to organize our email messages using Gmail. Hi there! Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to you, whatever time you're watching this video. This is Connie Zabala, and I'm here to help you get your time freedom back. So this channel is all about the virtual assistant industry where I share with you some tips, tricks, training, and video interviews of our fellow virtual assistants when it comes to assisting clients online. So make sure that you subscribe and click the bell if you haven't done so yet. So today, we were talking about how to organize our emails because we usually subscribe to different newsletters and we want to make sure that they are well organized in our Gmail. You can do this for your own email or you can do this for your clients as well. So I'm going to head out on my screen and share with you what I do, alright? I am sharing with you my screen and this is one of the email addresses that I have. I have different email address for different purposes but that's another story. So we're here to organize our emails. Because as you can see, I already have, this is just for example purposes. As you can see on my email, I have email from YouTube, notifications for subscriptions. Then I have Ryan Dice here from Digital Marketer. And I have Advanced, Advanced Your Reach from another mentor, Pete Vargas. And then, and then I have another for Tubix. Tubix, I just recently subscribed to this uh, third-party app. And so on and so forth so for example we want to organize since the emails came from different email addresses and perhaps different categories we can organize them according to whatever category or whatever type of subject you want to categorize them you want to name them so for example this YouTube email where YouTube is notifying me who subscribed to my channel we can organize that in one label so what I will do is to open that so I click this email and then I will go to this uh, triple dot in the upper right hand corner and then I will choose filter messages like this so we want to organize emails that is under youtube.com so regardless where it came from as long as the email address ends with youtube.com so that's why i'm choosing it like that so i choose youtube from email addresses with the end address of youtube.com so after choosing that you can create filter and then it's it, it's your decision but for me i'd like to organize everything so i will be skipping this on my inbox because i want it to go straight to a lab to a label that I want to see it so for example apply to the label since I don't have any label yet I think so only important so I will add a new label for YouTube so I will name the new label as YouTube YouTube notifications perhaps so I don't want it to be a subfolder so I w this should be unchecked so I will create that and then I don't want it to be sent to spam so I'll check this and it's up to you if you want you can add more features to your labels so that's for me this is enough for me and then I will also apply it to matching conversations because as you can see here there are so many emails already so I want them to be on one label for me this is my usual settings when I am creating filters and labels all right so when I create that filter, it means that all of these email messages will be put in this label. Did you see that? At the left corner, you see the label called YouTube notifications. This is what I did earlier, right? So when you click on that, you will see all those labels here. Now, when you go to your inbox, since I unchecked that it will go, it will not should not go to the inbox, you won't see any emails from YouTube here, right? So we'll organize or we'll create another label, like for example, for from Ryan Dice. So Ryan Dice 
emails and DM Insider are more are the same actually. For example, if I click on this again, so this is Ryan Dice email. I I will do what I did again from YouTube. I will do this again here. I will filter messages like this and I will remove the members at but I will choose digitalmarketer.com. So I always choose the web, the main website name because I want to make sure that every email addresses under digitalmarketer.com would, would be labeled in one label only. Alright, so I will do that again and then create a filter. Now, I will skip the inbox That's so that I won't have to see it on my inbox because I want everything organized again. So I will choose apply the label and since I don't have digital marketer yet, I will create another label. New label. I could put in digital marketer or DM and then create. And then I, will, I don't want it to be sent on, on my spam folder and I want it to be applied to the rest of the email addresses under digitalmarketer.com. So I will create that filter. Let's I'll demonstrate to you what uh, subfolder is or that tag as nest label under so that's basically how you will organize your email so, so for example for this vid IQ I will create a label under this so this is for YouTube under YouTube tools I'm using many <laughs> YouTube tools so I will create that Alright, and then if you see, I have, um, I have two bigs as well. You see that earlier, right? So they are more or less the same, the same tools for YouTube. So I will put it under YT tools. Alright, so I will put two bigs. Nice, and then they will YT tools. So. Are you, get, are you getting it now why I want it organized as like this? Because I want to make sure that getting these email messages are intentional. So I want to organize them. And you can do this also for your clients. So that it will be easier to find the emails that you are trying to find. Although you can search it every time, but doing this is a lot easier and more. You can save more time doing that, right? So I think that's it. So. I would recommend you to watch how to create your own email signature inside Gmail since I'm, o I'm only sharing in Gmail because most of us, 99% of the time, we are using Gmail and any email addresses we have under our domain names, we usually forward it to our Gmail. So that's why I'm sharing you this. Share with me today what is your biggest takeaway during this tutorial. Thank you for watching.